kids and welcome to Monday's The Daily Tip. That's right, it's a glass of wine, not a mug of coffee. Because I am shooting this on Sunday night, last night, uh, right after the Oscars. So, a little bit, little bit of the celebratory wine. Uh, and today, of course, is awesome awesomeness. And I'm sorry because you guys sent in so much awesome awesomeness that I'm going to have to save it for another day because today's awesome awesomeness... It's all about the Oscars. That's right, because I am a giant, giant film and Oscar fan. Huge, ginormous, for so many reasons. Uh, but tonight, tonight, I mean, seriously, if you were nominated, if you were in that room, if you were related to someone that was nominated, if you supported someone that was nominated, if you met someone that was nominated, kudos to all of you. So deserving. Just a room full of talented people. And, and if you won, that's like winning a lotto. But tonight's night, I mean, seriously, people. You've got the Hurt Locker, Catherine Bingalow. Bingalow. Catherine Bigelow. You've got the Meryl Streep, Sandra Bullock, Tina Fey, and Michelle Pfeiffer all in one room. That's not the trifecta. That's like the quadfecta. My head was almost about to explode from so much awesome awesomeness. And then Sandra Bullock won. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Meryl Streep was brilliant in Julie and Julia. Brilliant. But Sandra Bullock, I felt was so deserving for so many reasons. Number one, because I've been a fan for so long. Uh, but beyond that, because I think that it gets taken for granted what she does especially when she does romantic comedies, because everyone looks at those and goes, oh, I can do that, and we can't. No, no, we can't, <laughs> because it takes a lot of talent to make it look like anyone can do it. And she has been doing that for years, and I almost feel like it was her time. It was her time, and she, this was a great movie, and she was so great in it, and she's just a fantastic, fantastic person and actress, and, and I was thrilled. Hooten hollering when she when she won and got up there, and I pretty much think Meryl Streep was also thrilled for her. And uh, Monique, oh my gosh, seriously, seriously, talk about the waterworks starting. Oh, so well deserved. Uh, not a very likable character, but so beautifully played. And and everyone that and Jeff Bridges, oh my gosh, let's not even forget Jeff Bridges and his brilliant, brilliant brilliant performance in Crazy Heart. If you haven't seen the movie, please go see it. And here's the other thing about Jeff Bridges. The man is always spectacular. I don't ever feel like he's acting. I feel like he's just somehow in the skin of this other person, whoever he's playing. And and clearly, you know, he's been nominated five times, and this was a much deserved, well-deserved win, as was Christopher Waltz, I believe, from uh, Inglorious Bastards. So, so talented and so good. If you haven't seen the movie, you have to see it. Brilliant writing, great cinematography, just such a good film. And, you know, I am such a movie geek and, and, and have such a huge love for all film. And I'm an Oscar geek because I love the idea that these people get together. The winning thing is great, believe me. It's, you know, no one's going to snub their nose <laughs> winning an Oscar. But that to me is kind of beyond the point. You know, I think just being able to do that kind of work with the whole army of people that it takes to put together a film is a huge achievement. But then to be celebratory of it with others to, is just, it's huge. I think it's, it's, it's a monumental thing. And f film holds a special place in my heart because, you know, when we moved to this country when I was a little kid, Film was my portal to learning to speak English. It was my portal to learning how to be in the world, to learn about culture, to learn about everything. And to this day it is. And nothing gets me as revved up or as excited as being in a theater right before the lights go down with a big tub of popcorn and, uh, and, and just kind of getting lost in another world for about two hours. I love it. I love film. I love movies, and I love the people that make them. All of them. <laughs> Just, you know, I love some some movies more than others, clearly. Uh, but I just think 
movies are kind of like this small miracle that happened because so many things can go wrong along the way. By the time a movie gets, or, or in the beginning stages of a film, when the writer's sitting there coming up with a story to when, you know, you see it in the theater, there's so many steps in between and so many things can go wrong. And the fact that it ever even gets produced and sees the light of day is huge. So, big, big fan. It was a big, big night. And that is my awesome awesomeness for this Monday. And I'm sorry to take up awesome awesomeness Mondays with uh, the Oscars, but hey, loved it. So spectacular. And the set, the set looked great. Loved the set. I thought Steve Martin and Alec Baldwin did a spectacular bang up job. Um, overall, I give it an A minus. There are a couple little things that, you know, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get all catty about it. Because like I said, it was an amazing night and, and my girl Sandra Bullock. So happy for her. So, so, so happy for her. When they panned to her husband, to Jesse James, and he's got, you know, his his eyes are welling up. <laughs> it was too much, Sandra. Jesse, too much. I'm telling you right now. It was too much. Uh, anyways, we're here also for the daily tip. And here's the daily tip uh, for March 8th. Use architectural elements in your garden, especially up against soft and organic grasses because that juxtaposition is so beautiful. And the thing to remember, what you do and what you follow in terms of design style inside your home, follow that outside. So you know how I always like to say that if you've got a certain design theme or idea that you're using and you're repeating it, you want to break it up a little bit with something that is going in the opposite direction to take the idea of what you're repeating feel more special. Because if you continue repeating your design style, it sort of gets diluted. There's too much sameness. So if you say are very contemporary, if you throw in a piece that's eclectic or has some age to it or is vintage, it all of a sudden makes all the other stuff, all the contemporary stuff really feel uh, special and stand out and, and it highlights it in a really spectacular way. Same thing with the great outdoors. You've got all these organic things happening in gardens, all these greens and grasses and flowers and trees, all beautiful, all, all working so well together. But when you throw in a really great architectural element, something that feels sharp and maybe even contemporary, or maybe even has a great pop of color, all of a sudden, all this other beautiful greenery and organic uh, substance that's happening starts to feel alive and it really focuses the whole yard. So think about that when you're planning your outdoor space. It doesn't even have to be grand, even if you have a small plot of land or a little side yard or even a little patio. Think about adding one great uh, architectural detail that'll make everything feel even that much more special. So that's it for the daily tip on Monday, March 8th. Like I said, there's more celebrating to happen, so that's why the wine. And of course, oh, how could I have forgotten the Falcon? The Oscar Knight Falcon. He's always ready for his Oscar events because he's dressed in black, as you can see. See? Sleek and ready to go. As a matter of fact, he has a couple of Oscar parties to go to, so he can't be um, can't be kept here on the set for too long. Is that right? Where are you going, by the way? What Oscar parties will you be attending? 